Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. Over the past year, we have seen lots of exciting developments in the world of web design. And in this episode, we are here to give you a sneak peek at what's coming in 2023 with link to all examples. So ready? Let's check it out. One of the design trends I start to see more adoption is bold typography. It's being used more frequently to make a statement and grab the attention of users. Using large headings or subheading, exaggerate font size, and creative font styles to make the design stand out. Using typography instead of heavy visual effects also speed up your site performance, improve UX, and more importantly, deliver a call to action message clearly. In the past, we usually rely on JavaScript to create visual effects on website. But since then, the CSS has developed so much that it can do lots of complex stuff that it couldn't with JavaScript. 3D transform, filter, and new CSS features like hash selector, container query, and cascade layers are going to unlock lots of interesting web design purely on CSS. So from this year on, we are going to see websites relying less on JavaScript to create visual effects and use it mainly on logics. In recent years, Dark mode has become an increasingly popular feature on websites and apps. This year isn't different. And it's no surprise why. Dark mode can be easier on the eyes and also help saving batteries on devices, especially with OLED display. Also, dark interface can give a modern, professional look to website and more accessible to users with certain visual impairment. With all these advantages, dark mode is expected to be popular ten in web design this year and on. So consider incorporate dark mode into your design and see the benefits for your users. We also have a cool CSS dark mode toggle switch tutorial. Check our channel if you are interested. With proliferation of high-speed internet, it's easier to incorporate more media content into your website without having to concern much about performance. Using video as introduction to your website, as background, or even to create visual effects such as pseudo 3D using transparent video are very good ways to engage the visitors and communicate the message effectively. You'll start to see more and more websites using videos with clever tricks, and here are some examples. Bridge.js has been and still trending. This year is no exception. If you want to create a stunning visual effect, show your product in 3D, or create interactive website, Bridge.js seems to be the go-to choice. It's easy to use with lots of modules available, wide browser support, and large community, which you can find learning resources easily. By the way, our channel is also one of them. Check our videos for lots of easy Bridge.js visual effect tutorials. And that's all for this episode. You can find all the link to this cool web design below. Hope you guys enjoy, and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to stay tuned for the next update. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.